what is up welcome back to the channel you awesome people so today i'm really excited i'm going to be reacting to one piece episode number four a really good last episode and i just couldn't wait to jump into this one basically we saw that nami zoro luffy they ended up going to find a ship they found one that they really liked they met usopp usopp took them to kaya's house who owns the shipyard or that was what the whole episode was sort of leaning to was that there was going to be the signing over of the paper anyways it's neither here nor there we saw that Clahador even though I called him Cloud for some reason in the last episode he was actually a pirate from the cats pirates and they were actually infiltrating the house to actually take control of everything and he was actually poisoning her the whole time Usopp found this out and he ran away Zoro's incapacitated Luffy drank the poison Nami's unaware of everything so we're gonna see what's gonna happen now um, Usopp ran to get help no one believed him obviously boy who cried wolf but the marines did land there so i'm really excited to see what happens this is a one hour and one hour two minute episode let's jump in waste no more time and let's get it done okay so we're here at the well i did put subtitles on by the way so that's what i was saying they threw zoro in right but they didn't kill him and they threw his swords in there with him which is kind of like do you not know what you've done i know they did kill the other guy mary and that is a long fall but they do say if you are unconscious and you are your body is being smashed around then what actually happens is because you aren't holding on tight like if you're in a car accident and you get knocked out and you're rolling around your body is more limber actually and so you take less da damage <clears throat> than if you were holding on tight or rigid so maybe the fact that he's knocked out is why like he wouldn't sustain any more extra damages Ooh, we got zaro's episode let's go because we've seen buggy we've seen usopp now we've got his one captain kura of the black cat pirates yes long claws tiny glasses impossible that's the thing though this guy doesn't even know him and he's already calling him a liar you know unless some of the other people said don't believe him this is gonna be interesting but i mean what do they only have about four people oh he drank the poison okay this i can already tell that this is going to be a crazy episode oh man enough i can't hear myself think over your inbred nonsense <laughs> inbred nonsense oh my gosh so ah uh, yes it was soup because i was caught in between thinking that it was mashed pot like blue mashed potatoes so what they f like that's what i'm saying it's only four of them unless garp is the one who you know has them has the rest of the crew and then the people he sent out to go check it out is only the four you know kobe the other dude and two marines with guns arrest him what are you waiting for oh dear <laughs> i'm so sorry because remember he wears the black gloves that's the ones that has the blades on it <laughs> oh right nami is just sitting in the cupboard the whole time and you can see kobe just wants to tell him like oh right because he he doesn't care he wants to be a marine through and through I mean, for someone who's a pirate, she's really, like, cleaning up. She's really taken the role of being the housemaid. Oh. What's that? Old houses. You know, they're just like us. The older they get, the more. <laughs> you sure? Help! Please! Pirate! Someone help! And also... <laughs> Can't reason with madness. On behalf of the Marines... And Kobe is obviously a noob because you know what would normal Marines do? They would be like, "Look here, we're going to at least do a sweep of the house," you know. Oh, okay. So here's his throwback. That's the other thing I was saying that the choreography in this show is really good. And I mean, of course, it's needed. I'm sure this is the girl that he always used to spar against. We're not friends, Queen. Queen, that's her name, yeah. Then I'm gonna be the world's greatest swordsman. 
So I'm guessing that Nami is gonna come here. Clahador. <laughs> you see, because now the whole thing is that she's just gonna be like, oh, maybe you are a liar, so. Hey, yo! Oh. And I've seen it happen in in real life with people where they just constantly, you never know if they're telling the truth or anything anymore, you know? And so everything they say, you kind of just take with a grain of salt and you're like, okay, cool, sure. Oh, that's, that's really fun. But really, you don't know in your mind if it's real or not. And so, you know, that's just the issue with, you know, don't tell lies. See, even like a cat, she goes like that. Isn't the clock chiming mean that at 12 they're gonna sign over the paper? Wow. Well, that's the thing, at least Usopp is inside of the house now. Oh, there's the, the outfit. See, those are the gloves that he wears that has the the blades on them. Poison. What is the Gatorade you've been here? <laughs> Kaya. We all remember. See, that's the thing. It's kind of like, the wouldn't you down. just, I don't know. He, he obviously is, he's a crazed maniac, but like, wouldn't you just play the part until you killed her? Why would you? Unless it's for three years, his blood has been boiling being this chick's butler the whole time. Oh, is this a secret passage? Oh, he's gonna stab right through it. Let's go, Zoro. That's what I want to see. I want to see Zoro versus Kuro. Because, I mean, we had a snippet of that in the last episode. It's a real thing now. She's already using the two swords. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, it's actually so dangerous. Like, if you untrained and you're busy throwing around the sharp blades. Like, think about it. One missed swing and your hand is off, right? And once you lose your hand, it's gone, right? So it's, <laughs> it's crazy. And even worse than that, just one slice across the neck hits an archery. That sword looked a little bit flimsy when he tried to get up the Santori. <laughs> Just don't drop your elbow, brother. Souls can beat boys, but no woman can beat a man. See, that's the thing, because everybody has their own battles, right? Their own obstacles. See, that's the thing as well. It's that they do live in a land or in a world where you could just eat a devil's fruit, right? So it wouldn't matter if you're like a man or a woman. Like if you eat a devil's fruit. Like imagine Luffy was a sword wielder with the rubber. I mean. You got something to say. Oh. <laughs> The thing is, I wonder, like, if it actually tasted good, though, you know, the soup. Because he did finish the whole thing. So maybe that guy is a good cook, you know. Because if it was really that bad, he wouldn't have eaten it. Oh, yes. Not only is Usopp a liar, but he's scared of absolutely everything. How about the... Okay, here's another thing. How about the apology to Usopp, first and foremost? Because, I mean, he's been your friend all this time, and now all of a sudden, he was a liar. But then he was telling the truth. And most likely, Kuro, Klahador, killed them as well, you know? She should, like, save her strength. So he obviously knows that where the other one is. Let's go, Zoro. The thing is, I wonder if his swords are sharp enough to literally cut into the rock and actually just climb like that. I swear this looks like somewhere out here in my neighborhood because they do do a lot of filming around the area because there's a lot of fields and stuff and these types of trees look very familiar. That's the thing though, life will always test you. Like he's like, I'm gonna be the best, greatest swordsman in the world, right? And then it will pull away the thing on your journey and then it'll be like, do you really want to be the greatest swordsman? Now your training partner is gone. What are you gonna do now? And it's obviously up to people to kind of navigate and be like doesn't matter i'll make another plan anyways because i will be the greatest swordsman it's tough but it is what it is let's go zara you made a promise 
Let's go. Zara's a beast. Oh my goodness, Luffy's. Like, don't get in front of Luffy and his friend. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, because <laughs> that's the thing about oh, Zoro. He's, he's, he's always gets lost. Where's the other two guys? Didn't he, he had the two other guys walking with him, right? And they had guns. Oh, so, okay, so that was the sound. Zoro got to jump on them. And Usopp, of course, useless. And that's why it's ironic that he always talks about rats because he's, you know, the cat pirate. Well, maybe not ironic, but something. Okay, you literally poisoned her for three years. What could she do? I mean, he's obviously a crazed person. Oh yeah, we haven't really seen Luffy since, well, since the buggy fight, right? That was the last time we really saw him fight. What would really be crazy in this episode is if he does the, the gum gum gatling gun. Do, 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 do. That would be the next level. <laughs> I, I wonder if he's actually gonna say that he's the one who actually killed them. And Usopp cowering in the corner. Oh, but this guy also has some crazy speed. Oh my goodness. So he's obviously a devil fruit user. Let's go, Usopp. What? He caught it. But, uh, but that's the thing. Is he a, a devil fruit user? That's the thing. Because, I mean, you never know. Like, will they actually reveal it? Oh, wow. You know, these two definitely aren't. This guy's going to get butchered. And where's Luffy? Or did they split? Oh, wait. I think he did say let's split up. Oh, let's go, Luffy. The thing is, he's always like so happy, <laughs> so happy go lucky. But when he gets angry, this is gonna be interesting. Of course, Usopp is down. Oh, because he's got, I think, got 16 million berries. Yeah, because it would make sense if you do the, the Gatling gun, you just it's everywhere, and one of them will hit him. Oh, that's actually a, a little throw to this over here. I first thought that was face paint on it when he first entered with that thing. <laughs> Let's go, Luffy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's go, Monkey D. Luffy. Holy shit, that was crazy. <laughs> Just to see Kuro's face, you know. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, the bell. Your face is broken. <laughs> the force in the force in that headbutt would be so crazy. Oh, so he didn't kill them this time. Cause I was thinking it's nothing for Zara to just kill someone. But like I said in the last episode, every person who hangs out with Luffy starts changing a little bit more and more. We don't even have a ship. You do. I won the bet now. <laughs> Let's go, Luffy. Let's go. Let's go. You've been great friends. I said I'd never leave you. <laughs> it's like she takes him to the side to have a private conversation, <laughs> and they all just walk up to. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Yeah, because how are you gonna clear your body from all that poison? It's like three years. Oh wow. We know the feeling in the belly. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh right, she's still got her own plans. A full on proper kitchen. 
got the ship let's go <laughs> it's amazing oh wow no glasses too but i mean where's a kraken or something just to eat this guy oh he's gonna kira's gonna like end up going right to them oh the jolly roger oh come on it's all gonna be smooth sailing cannon probably oh uh, yeah exactly oh because that's the thing if you're if you take one of those shots like your whole ship is done for so that's the thing it's like oh you've got a nice you've got a nice ship now but grandpa, <laughs> grandpa. monkey d gop what a crazy good episode um wow that was exactly what i wanted just you know from kuro getting hit with luffy like that whole stretching himself around the bend knocking him down just to them getting the ship now and and that's the whole thing and like i was saying just now is that you've got the ship now you've got everything going for you but at the same time now it's on now you a pirate crew now you've got the marine shooting cannons at you and yeah now we i mean i obviously gave the spoiler in the first episode which was you know that's my bad but i can't help it i was excited about that but yeah monkey d garp is monkey d luffy's grandfather um so yeah that's going to be interesting to see now and also because they're going to give the the backstory of you know that's probably what's going to happen in the next episode but anyways that's going to be it for me really um um i can't believe i actually like the show as much as i do it because it actually does give the throw back to the actual anime just those more simpler times in the anime because right now it's crazy right now it's a whole different world but anyways if you like it hit the like button subscribe if you want to see me react to more i'm just going to keep putting these out and thanks for watching i am out peace